Hello viewers, this is Charles and this is the next in my series Learn Programming and Game Development with Lua. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to install the Love Game Framework on Mac OS. So I've opened a window in Google Chrome and I'm going to navigate to the Love Game Framework website which is love2d.org. I'm just going to do a quick search for it and that takes us straight to it. Right, let's download the Mac OS installer. I'm going to switch desktops to a desktop where I have Finder open. And you can see it's downloaded. I'm now going to extract the package inside. So I double clicked on Zip Archive and it's extracted it for me. And now I want to try and run it to show you what the first problem is that you're going to encounter on Mac OS. So you can see I can't open it and I don't have an option to open it. However, there's no problem solving this. What we need to do is to go to system settings. Then we need to go to privacy and then we need to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see love was blocked to protect your Mac. What we need is to go open anyway and that will get rid of that problem. And then we need to give a password. And it's now working. I'm now going to open Zero Brain Studio IDE and I'm going to write a simple Hello World program using the Love Game Framework to check that everything's working as it should be. I'm going to double click to fill the screen without going full screen. I'm then going to create a new file and I'm going to save it in downloads as main.lure. The way the Love Game Framework works is if you have a folder that contains a main.lua file, the main.lua file is the entry point for the Love Game. So let's go save. Now we need to implement a function that will be called by the framework. So to do that, I need to implement a callback function that will be called by the framework to actually print something to the screen. And the way we do that is to type function. Let's make this a bit bigger by going command plus. I think it's command plus. Yes, that does it. So I'm going to press that a few times to make it easier for you to read. Right, we're going to go love and then we're going to use the dot operator. Love is a package. The dot operator then lists the things that are available in the package. And the one I want is draw. And then I need to open and close parentheses and then I can call the function to actually print to the screen. And the way we do that is to go love again dot then graphics then print and then we need to open parentheses and in double quotation marks remembering that you're now on I'm now on a Mac keyboard not a Windows keyboard. Let's go hello world exclamation mark close the parentheses that's not enough exclamation marks. Then I need to specify a coordinate because we're no longer on the command line. We actually need to tell the framework where to put this on the screen. So I'm going to go 300 on X and 400 on Y and hope that that's actually within the window. Let's try and run it and just see what happens. And it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is that Zero Brain Studio looks in several folders to see if it can find the Love app. And if it can't, you get this error message. So it's really expecting it to be in applications love .app. We're going to fix that in a minute. Now, there's another way to run Love Games. And that's simply to drag the folder containing the game onto the application itself. Let's show you what that means in practice. So let's just try dragging main.lure onto love and see what happens. And the answer is, well, it doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is it's expecting a folder containing main.lure. So what we need to do is to make a folder here. So let's make a folder and let's call it love underscore test. Now I want to drag main.lure into it and then we'll try again. That will upset Zero Brain Studio. Let's switch back to it. And you can see it's upset. 
let's close it and reopen it because we'll want it later. Right, so that now fixes that little issue. So now if we drag the folder on there, you can see it runs. What I'm going to do now is to create an alias on my desktop. So there I just right click on love, create alias, move it to the desktop. And let's just check that that works with the alias. So let's do drag and drop onto there. And that still works. The reason for testing that is the next thing I'm going to do is to move the love application into the applications folder. And then Zero Brain Studio should pick it up. So let's try that. Let's go like that. Perhaps we should check it's actually there. It's there. Let's go back to where we were. Let's check that that alias still works. The alias still works. Now let's go to Zero Brain Studio and try and run this again. So now we get a different error, but this one's easy. We just need to accept the change and have this project folder. So now it works. There's one other thing I think I should demonstrate, and that's adding the Love Game Framework to the path. Because if I add it to the path, then I can actually run it from Terminal, which for some things is more convenient. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I need to do is to actually find the path to the application. So I'm going to open a new tab in Finder. I'm then going to go Applications. I'm going to find the Love Package, the Love Application. I'm going to say Show Package Contents. And then we can actually go to where the application really lives. This is the executable here, file here. If I right click and go get info, I can then copy the path. So all I need to do is to click once with left mouse and then right mouse button click to copy the path. Now I want to open terminal. Let's have yet another tab. And I want to open terminal in my root directory. So let's just open terminal here. New terminal at folder. That's reasonably close. Now I need to navigate up one level. So cd double dot forward slash. Then I'm going to do ls for list, alh for all. The file I need to edit is dot zshenv. And the way I'm going to do that is to use the nano text editor. I'm going to type nano, then dot zshenv return. And that's opened Nano. I'm now going to add another path entry. You can see I already have some set up for a Java development environment. I'm going to type path equals dollar $path. So what that does is to copy the existing path, which is in the dollar $path variable, into the new version of path. So effectively, it's just adding this to the end of it. Rather than typing in the path, I'm going to use copy paste. I think I may already have this on the clipboard. In fact, let's try. That looks like it might work. So let's go Control O to write it out. And you can see it has the same file names. So we just press return. Then I need to exit. So we do Control X. You can see the keyboard shortcuts are at the bottom of the window. And that is what you need to look at. If I type source dot zshenv, it should load that environment. Now, if that's worked, when I go love dot double dash version, I get the version and it's worked. So now if I go ls, I can then simply navigate to the downloads folder. So I need to change directory. So I'm now in the downloads folder. Let's do ls again. And now if I type love 
and then love te underscore test, it should run. And you can see it runs. But what you need to be aware of is that you need to actually pass it the folder. Now, I, for some reason, the drawers decided to come up and get in the way. So if you're inside that folder and you go love and then pass it main.lure, it won't work. What you'll get is this error. And it really tells you that it's looking for a folder. I hope you found that demonstration of installing the Love Game Framework on Mac OS useful. If you did, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. Have a great day.